five, the number of wrong way crashes, deadly ones we're seeing are heading in a dangerous direction nationwide and also here at home in Arizona. Team 12's Jen Wall has new calls from federal highway safety leaders and the AAA to put a stop to this troubling trend. Yeah, and the findings are pretty alarming, especially for us here in Arizona. Our state is nearly two times worse than the national increase for change in the average number of deaths when it comes to runway crashes. This deadly crash on the I-17 near Greenway took the lives of sisters Kelsey and Carly Richardson when they were hit by a wrongway driver nearly four years ago. He killed them both. Uh, just killed them. And uh, no goodbye, no, no nothing. Still today, their mother, Catherine Hawking, finds herself awake in the middle of the night thinking about her only daughters. At 3.30, I found myself in the kitchen eating vanilla ice cream. Carly loved vanilla ice cream. And that little thing actually made me feel closer to her. New AAA data shows wrongway crashes are rising at a shocking rate in Arizona. It doesn't seem that there are being effective measures in place right now to combat this issue. A closer look at the AAA data shows Arizona lost about 15 people per year from 2015 to 2018 in a wrongway crash. That's up from about nine people per year from the four years prior. AAA and the NTSB want to urge state policymakers to adopt more effective uh, driver base and infrastructure countermeasures. The calls for change include driver education, alcohol ignition interlock devices, high visibility enforcement, more visible traffic signs and signals, and state laws to identify medically at risk drivers. Some big steps Hawking wants to see after tragically losing her daughters on a valley freeway. You know, I can't go out there without going to the place. A painful road she still drives. You're drawn to it as your children were there. You just are. For her girls, Jen Wall, 12 News.